Hi, I'm Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to talk about the Carolina pa Panthers traveling to New Orleans this week to play the Saints. Saints are coming off their bye and should have Michael Thomas back in the lineup. He's been missed, to say the least. Um, when really analyzing these teams on a yard per play basis and a lot of different facets, they're quite similar on both sides of the ball thus far. Uh, just two offenses do a better job of possessing the football than Carolina this year. And it has been Mike Davis totally assuming the Christian McCaffrey every down roll. Davis rarely leaves the field and is getting a big chunk of his yardage on his own without a lot of help from his blockers. So it'll be really, really interesting to see what happens when McCaffrey returns. Um, Teddy Bridgewater's had a fine season. He's been pretty good. But clearly he's doing his better work against lesser defenses. Tougher defenses give him trouble and he's carved up the bad ones. Are the Saints a tough matchup, though, their defense? That's a good question. I, I tend to think so. However, however, I mean, thus far, quarterbacks have been putting up massive games this year against the Saints defense. But New Orleans' run defense has been very impressive. I tend to think they'll get it right, and coming out of the bye might help this defense a lot. Penalties have also been a big problem for the Saints defense. Panthers have a pair of excellent receivers in DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson. And Anderson's basically grabbed the top receiver spot this year. He's been really, really good for the Panthers. Uh, although the young Panthers defense isn't really impressive on paper quite yet, they haven't allowed much production to quarterbacks and wide receivers. But running backs have had really big games against the Panthers, though. And Alvin Kamara could, <laughs> could cause them immense problems, I mean, in all facets. This might be the worst run defense in the league. And New Orleans could look to play this one kind of close to the be close to the best. And, and you know, Panthers also done a really nice job of eliminating the deep ball. So could be a lot of dinking and dunking and running from Drew Brees and company. The Panthers are averaging only 0.8 sacks per game, which is about the worst in the league. But they are but they are getting some pressure on quarterbacks when you watch the tape. You see them being a little more disruptive than those sack numbers would indicate. That being said, coming off their bye, I expect the Saints to have worked some of the kinks out, both sides of the ball. I think they're primed to come on a bit of a go on a bit of a run here, reestablish themselves as one of the top teams in the league. I like the Saints 30, Carolina 20, right in that neighborhood. Thanks so much. I am Matt Williamson with Yard Barker.